Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of boys high school basketball. Northwest Suburban Conference action as the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Elk River Elks. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro up above the action, and Howie Cardinals coming off a school record performance, put up 103 points in a double overtime win against Rogers the last time out. Yeah, it was an exciting game for the Cardinals, and you know they they played really well, and obviously it, it's it's a, it's a good win for them. Coming into this week against a couple of teams, and we'll start obviously with Elk River, an opportunity for them to keep that win streak going. They've got to play good basketball because this Elk River team, despite being two and eight, they're scrappy and they've been in just about every one of their contests. Yeah, the Elks just two and eight, and uh, their wins coming against two teams that the Cardinals have also beaten, but they've got a guy that is not going to be easy to contain. Brandon Melcher is six foot nine in the middle. He is six foot nine, and he is very good. Great wingspan, averages about 13 points and, and about eight boards per game, and, and he's somebody that the car, that the cards have to take into account because they don't match up with him in terms of size. I mean, they've, they've, got, they've got some size, not a guy that's at six nine. He's got some pretty good bulk to him, so he's going to be very active underneath. And on the flip side, the Cardinals uh, led the way in that 103-point performance. A 40-point night for MJ Gallima, and he's been outstanding all season long. He's such a great athlete. We talk about it every time, but there you can see his numbers. 40 points in that win over Rodgers, nine three-pointers. And so he was one shy of tying a school record, but he is definitely a, a catalyst on this team, and they've got so many athletes, but uh, number two really kind of leads the way in terms of of the athletic ability of this team. Melcher will stride to the center circle and face off against Coon Rapids' Elijah Smith. And we are ready to get this one underway. Melcher gets up and gets the tip. The Cardinals come out and pressure quickly on defense. It's the hallmark of this team for the last five years or so has been their defense. Uh, and it can be troublesome. Elks patiently working through the half-court offense, trying to find an open look. And they do get it down low. And an easy basket for Gilchrist underneath. Yeah, just a breakdown in defense that time, allowing Gilchrist to be alone underneath the rim. And they're going to score the first two points of this game. Peyton Hemley stops up, looks to the backside for Elijah Smith. The right-handed hook right around and over the taller Melcher. Yeah, and Hemley with a nice dime to get Smith the bucket. Again, Elks trying to be patient on offense and get an open look. Not going to rush any shots. Go down low, back outside. Three-pointer for Nolan Blake. Won't go. The rebound for MJ Gallimba. Gallimba up top for Ellingson. Inside to Elijah oh, Smith, and he walked. Yeah, he positioning could. there underneath for Gilquist. Yeah, he took the pass, and he, could, he really couldn't control what he wanted to do and took that extra step. front court back across for Osterman back to Bainey right side back to Osterman as they work the top Osterman steps in Gilquist down low tried to bounce a pass through MJ had a piece of it scramble on the floor Gilquist able to get control jump ball called and the possession arrow will favor Coon Rapids yeah keep your eye on Kate Osterman uh, you just mentioned his name he's just a sophomore in this starting lineup for Elk River they're a little bit of a younger team one senior, some juniors, and a sophomore in this starting lineup for the Elks, but he's, a, he's their leading scorer. He is a, a very dynamic player. Himley drives right side of the lane. Shot comes up just short. Back the other way comes Bainey. Down low to Blake, back to Bainey, and pass oh, went right oh. through his. Oh, no. <laughs> MJ's arguing that uh, it went through and was touched by it was Bainey on the way it, through. It and certainly was. The argument to no avail. Three-pointer from Osterman won't fall. The rebound by Himley. 
And Coon Rapids gets the ball back after all. Bounce pass to Smith underneath, tried to keep it in as he was bumped out of bounds, but the other way comes Osterman. Bainey, three-pointer from the left side. That one's short, rebounded by Blake. Back out, Bainey drives baseline up top, and they'll work it around Osterman. Inside, blocked away by Ellingson. Yeah, Ellingson with a nice time on that jump, able to get all ball. Another look at it, getting yep. all leather. Yep. Elk inbound from underneath the Cardinal basket. Out it comes to Blake and Ulsterman on the right side. Ulsterman trying to get through a couple of defenders. Stripped away by Smith. He gets it to Peyton Hemley, and Hemley will push it up court for Gallima. Back to Hemley. Long three-pointer. That's off the mark. And the rebound in the corner by Osterman. Well, Coach O gives the, his players the opportunity to go sign to shoot threes from there. Osterman finds a bounce pass to Blake at the back door for two. Cardinals quickly to the other end. Smith will kick it back out. Three-pointer for Ellingson is good. Yeah, again, nice job of kicking it back outside, and now Matthew didn't waste any time dropping that three. Gives the cards the 5-4 edge early on. Blake inside, and a drop in the bucket for Brandon Melcher. Ellingson back up top. Himley will get a pick. The roll to Beck. To the right side, Ellingson's three is no good. A foul underneath. It's going to go against Caleb Gilquist. Yep. Mason Mattingly will check in for Elk River. Inbound goes to Gallimann near the free throw line. He crosses over to oh. find some room and drains the jump shot like it's nothing. It, he's so good. I just love watching him. And, he, you know, just a little step back and create an opportunity for himself. Doesn't need a lot of space. No. Blake underneath. Melcher, easy basket. And that's yeah. tough to defend. It is. And I know that's one thing that uh, con concerns Coach O in terms of his defensive uh, effort. We talked about it today. His defense is going to be really important here this evening. Well, and you just need to be able to deny the pass inside. Now a knocked away out of bounds should be Coon Rapids' ball, and it will be. And we're going to see Armonte Henry and Jordan Doe check in for the first time. I see Himley and, and the Lizard take a seat on the bench. Alex Beck. Ellingson sends it in for Jordan Doe. Up top for MJ Gallima. Gallima works the right side, gets the foul. The bucket will count. He'll go to the line for a three-point play. You know, MJ's really stepped up this year. I mean, he's, he, we, we talked about him last year as a sophomore and the impact he made for this team, but he has really stepped up his opportunity here this season. Not able to complete the three-point play. The rebound by the Elks. Osterman to the other end. Left side for Blake. Up top for Mattingly. They work it around to the right side. Back up top. Osterman baseline jumper. That won't go. The rebound by Gallima. Doe looking for room. Gets stuck on the baseline, but kicks it out. Ellingson for three. It's good. Right. Again, wasting no effort, to, no time to release that three. He's got, he's got six. Bainey pressured by Doe. Gives it to Blake on the left wing. 
Into the corner, Mattingly. Drives baseline, runs out of room, knocked away out of bounds. And the Elks will be able to keep it. Ethan Spanier will check in for the first time for Elk River. Gets the inbound, Mattingly up top, right side for Osterman. Feed it inside to Melcher, back out to Osterman. Near corner, Mattingly can't get it to go. Melcher is there for the follow. Again, it's tough when you got that big man, 6'9", right there for clean up the glass. Quickly to the other end, MJ got into some trouble and threw it away. Yeah, I was hoping to find Armani on the wing, but not there. Left side for Spanier, up top, down low to Melcher. He's fouled, he'll go to the line and shoot two. Well, that'll be on Elijah, just the first team foul here against Coon Rapids in this first half. It's a tough task defensively. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you know, and he's he's not a gangly 6'9". He's got some, he's got some bulk to him. First free throw is off the mark, and you know, we talk about it all the time. It's absolutely the most obvious cliche of basketball, how important free throws are in close ball games. Melcher able to hit the second. It's a yep. one-point Coon Rapids lead. And uh, Melcher taking a seat on the bench here. As Gilquist comes back into the lineup for Up River. Elijah Smith up top, he'll take the three. That's off the mark. The rebound by Osterman, and he's fouled. Okay. It's going to go against Gallimore. Yep. His first, team second. Parker Beatty across midcourt. That one's kicked. Even I could call that one. <laughs> can't do that. You're not supposed to. Osterman in a group of black jerseys gets it to Bainey into the corner. Spanier kicked and again. It's kicked again. But hey, stay active on defense. It's those Make yellow. it difficult. Yep, it's those yellow kicks. Osterman, good pass inside to Gilquist. And he is fouled. They call that dope. Yep. Yeah, Osterman definitely has some skills. Yeah, he's. Uh, I haven't seen him score yet. No, but for but a sophomore, he's just. He does, does some nice things with the basketball. Spanier back to Osterman, steps up, right side, Bainey, and now. They work it back to Osterman. He drives. That shot won't fall. The rebound by Ellingson. Jordan Doe will step into a three-pointer. It won't fall. Gilquist the rebound. Hands off to Baby. Yeah, Elijah Smith had to be careful. He didn't pick up a foul there. Tipped away from him, but right to Osterman. Back to Baby, and he resets the offense. Left side. Mattingly now. Back to Baby. And Mattingly. Osterman, rather. Osterman to Bainey. Back to Osterman. Thought about the shot into the corner. Spaniel will pump fake, steps in, back out to Osterman. Bainey in the paint, kicks it back out. Mattingly will think and give it back and will pass back to him on the left side. Osterman will take the three. This one won't fall. Rebound tipped and will go out of bounds. That'll be Cardinal Ball. Uh, they do a nice job of working ball, the ball around the perimeter. That time, Osterman with a shot just couldn't connect as he's going to take a seat on the bench. Blake and Melcher bath, yep. both back on the floor for Elk River. 12-11 as we're just about eight minutes into this first half. 
Jordan Doe left side. Puts it on the floor, backs it out for Elijah Smith on the wing. MJ Gallima up top. Gets a step on Blake. He'll get the foul and go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, nice, and again, nice job moving the lane just to get his shot to fall, but trying to earn a couple from the strike. Second on Blake already. Gallum able to hit the first. And able to hit them both. That'll give him six so far this evening. 13-11 lead, or 14-11 lead, rather. And the Cardinals able to disrupt to force the turnover and get it right back. One of Coach Cerruti's uh, keys was we have to take care of the basketball. We cannot afford to turn the ball over against an athletic team like Coon Rapids. Jordan Doe left side, Armonte Henry up top. Henry working against Spanier, and he traveled. And like his counterpart, Coach Agoric, we also cannot afford to turn the ball over. That's uh, high on the priority list yes. for just about every basketball player at every level, or basketball coach at every level, is protect the basketball. Inside, Melcher, and he missed. Maybe had to adjust thanks to the pressure of MJ Gallimo. Three pointer for Monty Henry. In and out, the rebound by Spanier. Yeah, I like, I like the attempt by Monty in that, on that particular play. It just it could it just rattled in and out. Oh, nice Elijah job Smith by Smith. Got a hand in on the dribble. And now gets the pa outlet pass back. Good adjustment to the lane. He gets the basket and forces the timeout by Elk River. Yeah, that was a great move by Elijah Smith in the middle, and you're, you're right, that adjustment that he made allowed him to get a look at the basket. That gives Coon Rapids the five-point lead with 8.53 remaining in the opening half. And Just the, over midway. There's the masked wonders. <laughs> We can't hear you talking though. It's just <laughs> well, trust me, the mouth is the mouth is moving. The mouth there. is always moving. Hello? Is this thing on? Oh, Howie. Is this thing on? How come your microphone works and mine doesn't? Here you try there you mine. Go. Yeah, yeah. I'll try yours. <laughs> it's not loud enough. Oh, nice, nice crowd here tonight. The allotted amount. Partial sellout. Partial sellout. Yeah. Carter's going to pressure here early. Elk River with the ball, trailing by five, 16-11. Bainey. Forcing some full court pressure. We'll get it to Osterman, who gets into the front court. Left side, Gilquist underneath. Melcher blocked by Smith. Coach Severty wants to know where the foul was, but I'm pretty sure that one was clean. I agree. Three-pointer for Jordan Doe. No support underneath. And Melcher will get the foul, or get the rebound. Yeah, again, Melcher using his body to make sure he get, got that defensive rebound. Gilquist pass, tipped by Ellingson. Smith will get it back to him. Ellingson floats, can't oh. get it to fall, but Smith able to put home the rebound. Oh, what a nice rebound by Elijah Smith. I mean, again, he just came flying in there and got that rebound, able to get the bucket as well. He's got six. Six straight points for Coon Rapids, and they've opened up a seven-point lead. Bainey to Gilquist in the middle. His shot in and out. Rebound by Ellingson. Gallima 
lost the handle yeah. and will give it right back to the Elks. Oh, he was troubled by Osterman as well. Again, they feed it to, to Melcher, and the Cardinals collapsed on defense, got the steal, but then another turnover as they tried to run the fast break. They did. This Henry could not handle the ball. Getting a little trouble, I think, from Osterman. Osterman working against Armani Henry, gets it to Bainey. He'll take a three. That one won't go. Rebound by Gallima. Long bounce pass to Armonte Henry. He'll get the little floater to fall and get himself on the board. And Grant goes cross court. Bainey trying to feed it inside. And the Cardinals able to deflect it away out of bounds. Yeah, again, trying to work Melcher down low. But Cardinals with the, you know, we talked about defensive effort. They, they've they uh, certainly stepped up their defensive yeah, intensity. It, and as we talked about early on, you know, you, with a guy that big underneath, you have to deny the inbound pass because it's so hard to defend him once he's got the ball. And again, they get in and they disrupt the pass. Beanie was out of bounds when he touched the ball, so forcing the turnover. Uh, they're, again, denying the ball, not letting it get to Melcher, rather than trying to defend him once he has possession. MJ Gallima from 14 feet. That one won't fall. The rebound by Hanegraaff, and back the other way comes Elk River. Yeah, I think MJ would like to have that shot back. He, he rushed that a little bit too much. Melcher underneath turns and scores. Melcher has nine. And it's the last nine for Elk River. Elijah Smith turns, kicks it back out. Ellingson long three. This one is short. Melcher with the rebound. Six minutes remaining first half. Oh. Bainey drives, swatted away by Ellingson. His pass taken right back by Hanegraaff. And then Ellingson steps into a passing lane, gets another steal, and now we'll slow things down. Elijah Smith driving, and they're going to call him for the offensive foul, getting the position and taking the charge was Osterman. Now we talked about oh, Osterman. No. He's, uh, you know, he leads that uh, that team from the, the point guard position, but good defensive play there, I believe. Well, again, let's he, see, had, let's he see. has yet to score. Let's see if he was set. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that was a good call by the officials. <laughs> Takes a big man to admit. Yeah. Osterman into the front court. Left side, Hanegraaff. They're going to call back. Bumped by back. Yeah. That will be foul number five against the Cardinals. I was talking to a couple of officials that were calling the JV game, and he says, you know, if we don't get yelled at, we know we're not doing a good job. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a tough gig, yeah. regardless of the sport. Have that, have that Stepping up and missing the baseline jumper was Osterman. Cardinals push it quickly to the other end. Doe drives to the paint, kicks it back out. They get it to MJ Gallima for three. That's in and out. The rebound by Hanegraaff for Osterman. Osterman, right side. Mattingly got it back to Osterman. Bainey back out. Three-pointer by Hanegraaff, and that won't fall. The rebound by Henry. Long pass, Ellingson behind the defense. Can't get it to fall as he was too far underneath. Yeah, he just couldn't Rebound adjust. Rebound by Bainey. He just couldn't adjust the way he wanted to. It was a nice pass inside as well, but. Osterman running into the double team and now fires it to Hanegraaff. Quick pass to Mattingly. His jump shot won't go. Melcher couldn't handle the rebound, and it bounced around off of a couple of bodies and out off the Cardinals. Hey, one. Hey, 
Inbound to Osterman on the left wing. Across for Hanegraaff. Now here's Osterman driving baseline. And he is stopped up by Beck. It's a jump ball. Should be the Cardinals' possession. I thought they called it jump ball. They did. Possession arrow favors the card favors the Elks. Oh, okay. Uh, I looked at that just afterwards, so my bad. Beanie backs out. Hanegraaff left side to Osterman underneath. Melcher is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. He'll get back on that. That's his second team sixth. It's going to be against Ellison. Oh, okay. He hit nothing but net. Unfortunately, it was the outside of the net. Himley in for Coon Rapids. One of two. Still a six-point lead for the Cardinals. The Cardinals' offense has been a little silent here in the last couple of minutes. Galama crossover, working against Benson, fresh onto the floor. Got it back to back. His pass taken away. Bainey on the run against Himley. Himley fouled. The basket will count. That is the first points for someone not named Melcher from yeah. Elk River since uh, in about the last 12 or 13 minutes of play. Misses the and one opportunity. Rebound by Alex Beck. Cardinals will slow it down. Ellingson to Doe on the right side. Finds himself some room in the lane. Shot too high off the glass. Gilquist down with the rebound. He will get it to Bainey, and Bainey will work across midcourt. Yeah, cards have been stuck on 20 for a while. Three-pointer for Bainey is good, and it's a one-point game. Been about four minutes of play yeah. since the Cardinals had that last bucket. And there's a steal for Bainey jumping in the passing lane to the other end. He'll get the basket and the foul. Ellingson didn't think he got him, but that's not the way the ref saw it. And the Elks will have their first lead since it was six to five. We'll see if uh, Coach O calls a timeout. He just did. Yeah, he needs a timeout at this point that uh, they just haven't been able to mount anything offensively, as you mentioned, in the last four minutes. And give Elk River credit. They've done a nice job of, uh, of cutting into that lead and now taking the lead themselves with 2.54 remaining in the half. Yeah, it's been a streaky half, or at least the last part of this first half. Coon Rapids put up eight straight and now 10 straight and a free throw to come for Elk River. Yeah, well, it's obviously a needed timeout for the Cardinals to just, uh, and again, you know, they're, they're trying to continue to run fast break this here and it's not working for him in the last them in the last four minutes. We'll see what uh, Coach O talks about here, and as the Elks are going to have a free throw opportunity. Beanie missed on the last and one opportunity, but he has scored the last seven for Elk River. 
and he is going to get the roll this time. Emily thought about the three and then instead gets it back. Three pointer on the way oh, and good. Boy, do they need that. For Ellingson and Coon Rapids right back in front. Yeah, boy, did they need that. He has nine. Three pointer for Beatty looking for the answer and he'll get the roll. Oh. Ellingson from way downtown wow. and he nails it. Wow. <laughs> He's got a dozen. All three pointers. Ellingson jumps the pass, runs to the other end. Floater won't fall. Back is blocked by Hanegraaff, and the Elks will slow it down a bit. Inside, Melcher, left hand scores. Boy, and you could throw that pass up for him because he's got that wingspan. Elks with the one point lead with a minute 28. Ellingson on the left wing, up top to MJ. Thought about the three, puts it on the floor instead. Backs away from Hanegraaff, now Peyton Himley. Left side for Ellingson. Up top, MJ. Gets the block and then is fouled by Hanegraaff as he tried to get away from the double team. Yeah, so that'll be his first team fourth. Hanegraaff arguing that uh, he was hooked by the elbow of MJ and <laughs> Coach Severty takes that uh, concern to the uh, to the official. Peyton Himwick. Down low for Jordan Doe. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Elks lead by one. Back to MJ Gallimore. Ellingson will step inside, leave it off for back. Baseline back out. Ellingson, an open look. He scores. Cards back on top. About 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. We'll see if Elk River holds it for the last shot. Bainey wants three oh. more and he got him. He has all of a sudden gotten very hot for. He has a dozen. Elk River, a foul before this shot. 12.3 remain. It's going to go against Noah Benson. Osterman will check back in. I'm sorry, he had 14. I'm looking at the scoreboard. I'm correct for the Elks. All in the, the final six minutes or so of this half. Osterman. Even less than that. Maybe the last four minutes of the half. What they call it? Oh, Melcher? Nope. They're going to call it against uh, Mason Mattingly away from the ball. And it's going to be number seven, so that'll put Ellingson at the line to shoot a one and one. Andre Kemboy is going to check in for the first time for the Cardinals tonight. Best hair on the Cardinals squad, yeah. I believe. Big free throws. Allison hits the first and can tie it with just 9.1 left. Off the mark. So the Elks with a one point lead. That ball passes tipped. 
It will be Elk's ball. Yeah. Is Ken Boyd getting a finger on it? That shot is off the mark for Spanier just before the buzzer, and Elk River will get to the locker room with a one point lead after trailing by nine midway through. Parker Bainey got hot and got him right back in it. They get to the locker room up 30-29. We'll take a break. Be back with first half highlights after this. You're watching live boys high school basketball on CTF. continue participating in athletics and activities. We need to work together. Wash your hands often, especially when you're in public areas. If you're sick, stay home. Stay at least six feet away from other people and do not hang out in groups. Cover your nose and mouth with a mask or use a cloth face covering. Help keep us in the game. Please practice health and safety protocols so we can keep doing what we love. Mask up, Rebels. Tornadoes. Cardinals. Bengals. Huskies. Mask up, Anoka Hennepin. Back at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. It's a one-point game. It's been back and forth, a streaky first half. Uh, it started out with some good back and forth. Both teams uh, just taking a little bit to find some rhythm. Melcher, uh, when they were getting the ball into him, uh, boy, he just kind of took care of business for Elk River early. Uh, and really, it was outside of Melcher and Bainey. There were no one else from Elk River has scored since the first four points of the game. No, and, and for the Cardinals, it's fairly evenly distributed for, you know. Except for, except Ellingson, for Ellingson, who's got 15. And and he uh, he took care of uh, the last part of yep. that um, half. He, he's the only one to score four Coon Rapids in the final seven minutes of the first half. He scored a couple of three-pointers, uh, had nine of his 15 points in that last piece of the half as the uh, Elks had come back to take a lead. But uh, you've got six points for Smith, six for MJ, yep. uh, and then just two for Armonte Henry and 15 for uh, Ellingson. On the other side, Bainey's got 14, Melcher's got 12, two each for Gilquist and Blake. Well, and, and the Cardinals were up by what I think at nine, nine at one point, yep. and then all of a sudden they went cold uh, from the offensive end, and Elk River made them pay on that, and then Elk River was able to cut into that lead and eventually take the lead. So Cardinals, uh, again, coming into the second half, just continue to play the kind of basketball that they play, but again, they have to avoid that cold streak for as much as over a little bit over four minutes in that first half. Well, and they did a really good job that helped them get that lead was after Melcher had kind of gotten hot, they really clamped down on him defensively and denied the pass yep. into him. Because again, when he has the ball, they don't really have anyone who can defend him. He's got he's got height and size on anybody in a Cardinal jersey. He does. But they did a nice job of denying him the ball. That helped them build that lead. And then Bainey just got hot for Elk River uh, in the latter part of the first half. And he led the charge that brought them back, put them in the lead, and, and has them where they are now. Coon Rapids is going to start the second half with the ball. And Ellingson wants to pick up where he left off, but that three-pointer is off the mark. And MJ Gallima with a relatively silly foul as Osterman clearly had position and was going to have that rebound. Yeah, he knew it. He knew it as soon as he made contact. That's his second. And no real foul trouble for no. either team. Nope. Uh, relatively clean. Uh, first half, Osterman, as we talked about, uh, one of their scoring leaders did not have a point in that first half. Right 
Bainey to Gilquist, back to Bainey, steps inside, underneath, Melcher couldn't handle the pass. Smith will get it to Jordan Doe, back the other way for the Cardinals. Into the paint, hands off, Elijah Smith poked away out of bounds by Osterman. Yeah, they're gonna work Osterman again underneath the middle, and, and they wanna get use his size advantage against Coon Rapids. And, and Melcher, again, you mean? I'm, I'm sorry, Melcher, yeah. We'll see how they implement that in the, here in the second half. Ellingson draws him way out defensively. Armonte Henry to Jordan Doe, working against Ulsterman, right side of the lane, looking for some help. Tried to bounce it through the legs of Melcher. Didn't work out so well. Back the other way comes Blake, and he will score on the layup. Cardinals quickly to the other end, and MJ Gallima lays it up and in. Yeah, they're gonna. You know, and again, they're gonna they're gonna play their game, and they're gonna run the, run the court. MJ has eight. Osterman to Gilquist underneath Blake Bainey to Osterman. Thought about it, then steps in Gilquist to Osterman. He'll bring it back up top. Bainey. Waits for traffic to clear. Osterman for three, in and out. Melcher nearly had the rebound, but instead it's Armonte Henry running the other way. I think Osterman may have had a piece of that. Bainey I think ends he up did with the well. rebound. Bainey will slow it down, leave it off for Osterman on the left wing. Stolen away by Elijah Smith. Smith crosses over, draws the foul, will go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, and I like I like the thought on the crossover by Elijah. Just obviously couldn't get the bu the bucket to drop. But he created that opportunity for himself. Free throws. Got to get them. If we've if we've never talked about it in before, case, they're kind just in of case. important. <laughs> Able to hit the second, we're tied at 32. Oh, nice MJ steal. MJ Gallima getting a hand in on the passing lane and ripping it away for the Cardinals. Doe cross court, Henry in the corner. Crosses over against Ulsterman, trying to feed it in the middle and it's rejected right back to him. Gallima drives. And uh, apparently blocked by Gilquist, a little slow to get up. Alex with numbers back at the other end. Blake to the baseline, drops it off. Bainey will score underneath. He leads all scorers with 16. Alex like, had thought of it. Tried to, tried to get it in and the pass denied by Melcher. Gilquist scores at the other end. Four point lead, largest of the game for Elk River. Monty Henry looking for an entry point. Jordan Doe on the baseline, bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for a three-point opportunity. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one there. When you'd like to see him get going as well, his first points of the night. And that's number three against Blake. Yep. They're going to talk about it. And it should be against Ulsterman. It'll yeah, be his first. I thought, I thought that was. So, I mean, Blake just has the two. Those free throw off the mark. And the Elks able to secure the rebound. Maney into the front court. Right side for Hanegraaff, back to Gilquist. Bainey into the corner for Blake. 
Splits a couple of defenders out to Bainey. Back to Blake on the right side. Underneath, Melcher, and he's going to score from there. Yeah, again, they don't have an answer for that. And he's able to work himself underneath the basket at a nice little bounce pass for the buck, for him to put the bucket. And he has, I believe, 14 now. MJ Gallima for three. That's short. The rebound by Ellingson. Back up top for Armonte Henry. Puts it on the floor, drives left side, and a beautiful little layup going underneath to score for the Cardinals. Yeah, just a, again, a very athletic move by Monty as he's able to get that uh, little wrap around. We've seen a lot of kick balls tonight. Well, and the Cardinals do it a lot because yeah. they're very aggressive defensively. They move a lot. <laughs> and that one was like kickball. I think he might have scored a run in kickball. Maybe. Left footed. That's that one. Hanegraaff left side, Blake for three, that's short. Hanegraaff the rebound, that won't go. Gilchrist able to put it home on the third effort. Yeah, solid follow by Gilchrist. Good. He has a half a dozen. It's a four point lead for Elk River. Ellingson underneath, back up top, Armonte Henry. As room takes the three and hits it. Hey, Henry just stepped back. They gave him plenty of room. You can hear the uh, coaching staff yelled, too much room. And he's able to drop it. He has seven. Good passing. Melcher will get the roll. Puts it on the floor, working against Blake. Feeds it underneath to Henry. Henry working against Bainey, gets the shot up. It won't fall. Rebound controlled by MJ Gallima. Circles the wagons, kicks it out to Jordan Doe. Drives baseline, gets the foul. It's going to go against Melcher. I believe that's his first. Yeah. Call it a shooting foul, although he passed the ball after the contact. And then Jordan Doe able to hit the first. And able to hit them both. Big free throws. It's a one-point game with 12-16 remaining. Good passing. Melcher turns and scores. Again, no answer for that. And they, and they, and they know it. Elk River knows it. They're working the ball underneath to Melcher. He's got 18 points. Well, and, it, and again, they're going to pass it around and make yep. the defense come out and respect the other players. Good luck. And Jordan Doe drops it home. Great pass from Armonte Henry. Yeah. Bainey, open look, will take the three. That's not going to go. The rebound by Hanegraaff, and he's going to put it home. to the top of the lane, fights his way around, and is eventually fouled by Hanegraaff. Hanegraaff again arguing that he's hooking with the elbow. That'll be his second, team fourth. Osterman back in for the Elks. Who lead by two. And 
And one. Galloway able to hit them both. It's a one point game once again. That pass out of the reach of Melcher. And it'll be a turnover back to Green Rapids. His arms are long, not quite not that, that long. I was going to say, not that long. Jordan Noel will bring it up court for the Cardinals. Just under 11 minutes remaining here in the second half. They trail the Elks by one. Both teams with 16 points so far in this second half. Elijah Smith working against Melcher, driving right side, gets the foul, will go wide and shoot two. And that's one way to, to try and get him off of the offensive yeah. side is, is uh, go at him on the defensive end and try and get him in foul trouble. That's his, uh, his second team fifth. to Tide. One, straight in. And it'll stay tied with the miss on free throw shot number two. Mattingly left side, Hannah Graf drives, baseline blocked away out of bounds by Elijah Smith. Yeah, he tried to gain that edge and Elijah did a nice job of getting all ball. Another kick. Hey, it's a, it's a good play. It denies the pass. It, it does. You, yeah. You don't get. It's not like it's a foul. Nope. What we got to do to get the pass and win? That's right. Anagraph at the top of the key, left side for Blake. Up top, Osterman will pump fake. Left side for Mattingly. Underneath, Melcher back up to Blake. Right side, Osterman drives. Partially blocked by Smith. The rebound comes to Mattingly. He bobbled it and then knocked away out of bounds by the Cardinals. Osterman still scoreless in the say, contest. He, he's, he's got uh, more fouls than points. Melcher. Works his way inside and scores. He's got 20. Jordan Doe working against Hannah Graf goes underneath to MJ for three. It's good. And Coon Rapids back in front. He's got 13. And he's so, he has so much confidence in that shot. Had it, but a timeout by the Elks. And they'll think about it as they now trail by one just about midway through the second half. Yeah, there you see, nine, as you mentioned, 926, 49 48 lead for the Cardinals. The foul situation is uh, Elk River sits at five team fouls, just one for the Cardinals so far here in this first half. Look at Young's, Young's mouth is uh, always moving. Oh, it stopped. That's that's the problem. <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? Hello, is this on? <laughs> oh, I dropped mine. Drop him the mic. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Good to have Coach Schumann back in the building. Elks will have the ball trailing by a single point. And this uh, this second half has been just a uh, punch and counter punch. Yep, it has. Elks 
Coon Rapids with that slight 20 to 18 edge in scoring here in the second half. Osterman steps up, gets it over to Bainey. Down low, Hanegraaff trying to get it back to Bainey and nobody home in that corner. And a turnover back to Coon Rapids. Well, these are situations for the Cardinals, obviously off the turnover. Try and get some points, uh, continue to get points and try and see if they can extend their lead here. Well, I think both teams have, have done better on the turnovers they here have. so far in the second half. Yeah, it's, it's a good steal <laughs> right there by Hannah Graff. Just gets it right back after committing the turnover. Melcher back out to Hannah Graff. Cross to Bainey. Looked underneath, but couldn't get it there. So now Olsterman steps in. Bainey thought about the shot instead. Has that pass stolen away by MJ Gallimuth. Cardinals work the perimeter. MJ drives the baseline, kicks it out. Doe had to recover it. His pass tipped, but came right to Armonte Henry. Gilquist out to cover Doe. The top of the key, crossover, finds some room, then lost the handle. And then Melcher gave it to Gilquist. Gilquist lost it, but recovers it. Hanegraaff, left side, Osterman. His pass to Gilquist up top, into the corner, Hanegraaff. Underneath, Melcher turns and scores. Yeah, again, it, it's, you, you get that ball underneath, and, and he's pretty much automatic from that spot. 22, they take the lead back, 50-49. Alama is fouled by Osterman. That's going to be number six. So uh, Coon Rapids will be in the bonus the rest of the way. And Coon Rapids just one foul in this second half. Yeah, and that's Osterman's third. Talked about it, young guy. Just normally sophomore. one of their scoring leaders. Yep. Uh, does a, Obviously, as we've seen tonight, does a lot of really good things away from the basketball. Uh, or aside from scoring the basketball. Good turnaround jumper for MJ Gallima, and he puts Coon Rapids back in front. Uh, he's approaching his average, just about 17. He's at 15. Hanegraaff steps up. Short jumper won't fall. The rebound by Armonte Henry. Henry. Elijah Smith in the corner. He shoots the three and knocks it down, and it's a four-point lead for the Cardinals. Again, he, he, he didn't even think about that. He said, I've got an open, I've got an open look. I'm going to take it, and he dropped it. Bainey looking for the answer. It won't fall. Hannah Graff's tip won't go either. Ellingson, good rebound. Got it to MJ Gallima. Cardinals with the numbers. Armonte Henry into the paint. And able to score. And a timeout, Elk River. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Cardinals doing a nice job of getting the ball down court quickly, extending their lead at six here with 644 remaining in this contest. And a nice little run for the Cardinals. Seven quick points in the last minute or less. And yeah, you talked about, you know, when they when there are turnovers, you got to take advantage. The Cardinals have been able to do that. And turn it up field, up court quickly. Capitalize on their speed. Oh, that three-pointer put Elijah Smith in double figures. He's at 11. Ellingson at 15. Galma at 15. And uh, nine for Henry. You get me every time on that one. On what one? Oh, the one where you oh, yeah, make yeah, me yeah, look yeah, down. I, I got gotcha. you. I, yeah, yeah. I, gotcha. I fall for it every time. Every time. Well, Coon Rapids, you know, we talked about it. Coming off that big win over Rogers, they've won three of their last five. Yep. And when you look at it, the two they lost in there were to the number one team in the state in 
4A Champlin Park, the number two team in this state in 3A in Totino Grace. Yep. We were at both of those games, and both of those games featured portions of the game where the Cardinals played right with the best in the oh, state. They certainly did. So have to feel pretty good about the way they're playing right now, but uh, this is a portion of their schedule tonight, and then a second chance to, to beat Centennial, who was one of the, the teams they beat just a couple weeks ago. Um, so you know, this is a portion of their schedule they have to try and take advantage of, uh, but Elks uh, going to make it, make them work for it right to the very end, no doubt. And another kick. Well, the Elks are quite capable, as we saw in that first half, of, of coming back uh, with a, in, in a deficit, taking the lead. So Cardinals obviously are aware of that. They certainly do not want that to happen this in this situation. Well, Melcher continues to be hot. He's got 22. Beanie's just got two points in the second half after scoring 14 in the first. Here's a chance for him for three points, and he's got it. I'll cut the lead to three. And the Elks definitely needed that one. MJ Gallima in the low post working against Blake. Turns, and he is fouled. He was fouled hard. He's okay. That'll be, uh, I believe that'll be... Number seven, so it'll yeah. be a one and one. That'll be his third. That Blake's will third. be number three. Yep. Osterman comes back in with his his three personals. They could certainly use him to get hot on the offensive end in, in Osterman. Second one in and out for MJ Gallima. It's a four-point lead as Ulsterman brings it up court. Gilquist to the baseline, scores off the glass. Gilquist with, not, Gilquist with nine. Smith blocked by Melcher. He doesn't have to be that close no. to block you when he's got those arms. Oh, and that one's just thrown away. And Elijah Smith on the break will make them pay. Yeah, turnovers. And, you know, both coaches talked about it. It's been, it's hurt them all year long in, in key situations. Bainey steps up. Pass taken away by Jordan Doe. Long down court for Elijah Smith. And he was pressured by Osterman, and he went hard off the back iron. Spanier back over to Osterman, back to Spanier. He'll take the three. That one won't fall. Elijah Smith has the rebound, gets it to Ellingson. Ellingson pretty quiet here in the second half. Doe had it ripped away, but stays with it. Gets it back out to Ellingson. Smith drives his way around Melcher, the bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for a three-point play. And that's three at Melcher. That gives Elijah 15. able to convert seven point lead for the Cardinals. Smith almost had a steal there in the backcourt. Osterman gets it to Blake, back to Osterman. Bainey thought about the three. Indecisive, gets it across to Osterman. Steps around the defense, he'll take a three. That's off the mark. Gilquist there to put it home, and he's in double digits. Cards got to block out defensively. Henry crosses oh, that, over, draws a foul. It's four. going to get, be against Osterman. What's going on with the, uh, the scoreboard? They've got uh, the foul going against number 43, which it's not even a 43 <laughs> on the on the roster. Uh, but it's only number one on 
It's only the first foul against number 43. <laughs> Got the roll. That is the home court roll right there. Shooter one. Missed the second one, and Elijah Smith had his hands on the rebound but couldn't secure it quickly to the other end. Gilquist is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. I call that a doe, I believe. Coon Rapids yep. with four guys in double digits yep. now. Elijah and MJ with 16 each, 15 for Ellingson, and 10 for Monty Henry. Jordan Doe has six. And that's Doe's second, just the second team foul on the Cardinals here in this uh, first half. They've done a great job of staying out of foul trouble. Gilquist able to hit them both. He has the last six for the Elks. Double team coming, forced it through. Blake steps into the passing lane and gets the steal. Gilquist kicks it out. Blake will find his way to the baseline. Now wants help. Up top, Bainey down low. Gilquist turns, shoots, scores. Back to a single possession game at 63-61. Three, just about three minutes remaining here, too. MJ Gallima looking for some room. Ellingson, an open look for three, oh, and he nails it. That's a huge three. He's got 18. He leads all scores for the Cardinals. First points of this second half. And there's a steal for MJ Kalama. Up court. Smith able to make his way around Beanie and drop it home. Puts the lead back to 17. Seven. I'm seven, I mean. They wish Carlos, it was 17. Carlos would wish it was 17 with, with two and a half left. Bainey in the middle, blocked by Ellingson from behind. Jordan Doe. Hands off, Elijah Smith. Underneath, oh. and he scores. Nice wraparound. He has, Elijah's got 20. Timeout, Elk River. Nine-point lead for the Cardinals. Matches their largest of the night. And yeah. just 2.13 remaining. Good time to get that lead back up to nine here with, as you mentioned, just a little over two left. Again, Cardinals will continue to pressure, I'm sure, play good defense, try and play good defense, and try and create turnovers here. Try and secure this nine-point lead. This next possession is big for Elk Road. Absolutely. And they need some stops. They do. Uh, you know, Coon Rapids, uh, the last couple of minutes has really turned up the speed. Uh, the speed game is definitely in their favor. Yep. Uh, and, you know, Elk River, you're right. As soon as I mentioned the, the, the <laughs> second half was a little cleaner, they've turned the ball uh, over a little bit more yeah. over the last couple of minutes, and Coon Rapids has taken advantage. Well, and they've committed fouls too, which uh, which has hurt them as well. Gilquist turns Osterman for three. That won't fall. Gets his own rebound. Fights his way back inside the bucket and the foul. That's a big one. Good time for him to finally get on the board. That's Elijah Smith, his third, team third. So as far as fall situation, Cardinals in good shape, both individually and as a team. And Osterman able to complete the three-point play. 
And that was a, a big finish uh, for that possession. Yep. He wanted it from beyond the arc, didn't get it, but able to follow his own shot. Henry backs out. Double team comes. Timeout. Coon Rapids. Oh, smart one before too. Before the ball was ripped free, very smart. Yeah, possession. It's another half second, and uh, the Elks may have stolen that away yep. and had an opportunity to go down and cut further into that lead. Uh, and two, even if they had uh, tied it up, possession arrow favors them. And of course, they know that. Cheerleaders have had plenty to cheer about they tonight. Have. This one should be exciting right to the end. I think it will be. Another 107 seconds remaining. Getting a little bit, maybe a little smaller, quicker lineup on the on the court for Elk River. Well, you take out the, the two guys that, it, that are, have questionable uh, foul trouble. Yeah. And uh, that way you can take the foul a little easier and make the Cardinals earn the points and not burn the clock. Ellingson, then Jay Gallima puts it on the floor, finds some room into the lane. Shot won't fall. And no foul back the other way. Come the Elks, Bainey for three. And he gets it wow. to fall, and it's just like that. It's back to a one possession game. There's a quick foul there. Now free throws for Coon Ramp is huge here. There's that uh, double bonus situation, so these will be a couple. And then Oster you'll see Osterman and yep. Melcher check back in. Most important free throws of the ball game yes. so far for Monty Henry. And it is double bonus. Fortunately, he can still make it a two possession game by hitting the second. Missed them both, and the Elks get the rebound with Nolan Blake quickly to the other end. Gilquist was too deep, threw it away. Armonte Henry behind the defense. Reverse for the basket, and that is a huge, fortunate turnaround for Coon Rapids. It certainly is. Because after that miss on the, the free throws, they had an opportunity to tie on that possession and just Forced it a little bit too fast, in too deep, and they turned it over. A three-pointer for Bainey don't, doesn't go. Gilquist underneath the basket and the foul. Third opportunity. That cuts it to three with an opportunity to cut it to two. They're going to cut it, call that one on Henry. Oh, no, they're calling on Ellingson. That's his third, team fourth. They see the time remaining. Just a shade under 48 seconds. And it's off the mark. Ellingson the rebound. Got it over at Aramonte Henry, and he's fouled by Hanegraaff. Well, I think he pretty much had to do that in that situation. I was surprised that they didn't do it a little sooner. Yeah, they didn't foul Ellingson right away. Yeah. Some big free throws missed right, on both ends of the floor here in the final minute and a half. Henry able to hit this one and make it a four point lead.
Shooter one. Second one off the mark. Blake has the rebound. Full court pressure from the Cardinals. Jordan Doe jumped the passing lane and not able to secure it, but at least able to break it up and force the Elks to reset. Blake will inbound to Olsterman in the backcourt. Right side, Bainey. Cross court to Blake, disrupted, still loose. Blake able to get it back, and he is fouled by, no, timeout. No timeout. No, no. River. So four point lead, 24 ticks remain on the clock. Elk River with possession of the basketball. Does look like that is the final timeout of the game for Elk River with 24.2 remaining. And a good timeout, uh, a good timeout by Elk River. Just, you know, they build to drop a play with uh, time winding down. You got some fouls to give too if you're if you're Coon Rapids. Several. Yeah. Well, two anyway. Two. Holsterman a little pump fake took it down. Back out to Gilquist. You can't take too much time no. if you're Elk River. You've got to get points. You're down two possessions. You didn't need a three-pointer. Bainey takes it. The tip is good for Melcher. And they are able to foul. Henry before he fired it down court with only 6.6 .6 remaining. That Osterman that, uh, that he's done. Well, and I, I'm just shocked it took them that long I, I to, you know, especially coming out of a timeout, to take that much time to go for a three-pointer that you didn't need. But I am far from being a basketball mind. So six seconds remaining, a two-point lead for the Cardinals. Big free throws here for Henry. Can hit uh, both of them. Make it a two-possession game. Needs to hit this to make sure they cannot get a victory with yep. a three-point shot. them both three and a half seconds they get it to Bainey little pump fake he gets the shot off and that shot won't go and it was that close wow. to being an Elk River comeback victory uh, coach o, coach o can breathe a sigh of relief here as, uh, he's gonna his squad's gonna get this win by a slim two points well and you know I mean Belcher finished with 22 points yep. and I uh, you know, unfortunately for him, he's going to remember that last shot yeah. as the one he didn't make. He had a great game. He did. Um, and, you know, the, the fact that Coon Rapids did not seal the deal earlier uh, is something I think you have to be concerned about if you're a Coon Rapids coach. I, I, I agree with you. You had a nine-point lead in the first half and a nine-point lead in the second half. And late in the second yeah, late half. Late in the second half. And you couldn't uh, – you, 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 you got the win, but uh, you, had to, you had to hold your breath to get there. And, uh, you know, we, we talk about it over and over and over again, uh, the importance of free throws and some free throws made by the Cardinals in those last couple of minutes uh, would have made it a far less dramatic finish. Yep, absolutely. But uh, a big win for them. They get uh, win number four out of their last six.
back-to-back -back victories uh, heading into Thursday's contest back here against Centennial Howie. Yep. We'll be here. And uh, we're hoping to see them uh, put together their first three straight wins of the season. Well, it gives them six on the season, so they'll move their record to six and eight. Drop the Elks to two and nine. It was a lot of back and forth. It was close the, the entire second half, uh, finishing with 20 points to lead the way for the Cardinals is Elijah Smith, 18 for Matthew Ellingson, 16 yep. for MJ Gallima. And then uh, on the flip side, 24 points for Melcher. He's uh, he's an impressive player. He is. And uh, 22 for Bainey, and uh, just missing a three-pointer at the buzzer that would have given them the victory. But uh, a fun game. Glad we were able to be here and be a part of it. Absolutely. Always fun to be here. We will be back here at the barn on Thursday when the Cardinals host the Centennial Cougars. And then again on Tuesday the 9th when the girls' basketball team takes on the Andover Huskies. We'll hopefully, knock on wood, see the boys' hockey team on Thursday against the Osseo Orioles. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. It's Coon Rapids 73, Elk River 71. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything.